Hi, Bhuvan, Dwe Puti. We have one more beautiful time in front of you to talk about things around us in this grade 6 chapter. And this is going to be video number 4 as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. We already talk about the state of the matters, right? Solid, liquid and gas. So here, we are here to understand the state of matter, the characteristic. Characteristic of solids Observe some solids. What can you say about their shapes and volumes? The shape of solids does not change easily. They have definite shape. Also, there is a definite volume for solids, like a brick, bat and stone. Those are known as solid because it has a definite shape and it has a definite volume. So, the characteristic of solids is definite shape and a definite volume. Now the characteristic of liquids. Let's do the following activity to find out the characteristic of liquids. You will need a measuring cylinder, colored water, transparent containers of different shapes. Measure 25 milliliter of water using the measuring cylinder. What is the shape of the water in the measuring cylinder? Now, measure 25 milliliter of water and put into the container of a different shapes. Now you can see the different shapes it is taking as per the containers figure. Now when you are measuring a liquid, when you are measuring a liquid, there is a way that you want to measure the liquid. Now how to measure a liquid using the measuring cylinder? Look this very carefully. The measuring cylinder is used to measure liquids in the laboratory. In the laboratory, what is used to measure the liquids? The measuring cylinders. The correct method of measuring a volume is, when you put a liquid into the measuring cylinder, you will see a curved surface just like that at the top. Get the reading of the lowest curved point. Get the reading of lowest curved point. Now, in this activity, though you put the same volume of water into the containers, water takes the shape of the container. Hence, a liquid has a definite volume, but it has no definite shape. Now, side by side comparison. Solid has a definite volume and a definite shape, but liquid has a definite volume and it has no definite shape. For example, water, petrol, liquid milk, coconut oil are some examples for liquids. It's time for us to understand the characteristic of gases. Do you think that the empty bottle in figure contains any matter? Let's do the following activity to find the answer. You will need an empty bottle, a water basin. Now put the bottle upside down in the water basin as shown in this figure. And then tilt the bottle as shown in the next figure. Now it is in front of you. Now observe what is happening. The bubbles are coming out, isn't it? When the bottle is in the position as here, water doesn't enter the bottle. But when the bottle in the position like this, the bubbles comes out and the water enters to the bottle. Water didn't go into the bottle because there was something in the bottle. At the next position, water entered the bottle because the air blocked in the bottle came out. So, it's clearly that air occupying the space. You know that. Now, there is another activity in front of you. You need two gas jars just like this, a joystick 
a piece of cardboard. Light the joystick and send the smoke into the gas jar. Turn upside down, just like this. Now get another jar, gas jar, and keep it as shown in the figure in front of you. Now observe well. Gas is moving inside the gas jar very clearly. Now you will see that the smoke in the first gas jar goes to the second gas jar as well. So the conclusion is that gases do not have a definite volume and they spread throughout the container. Therefore, gas has no definite volume and no definite shape. So we came to know the solid, it has definite volume and it has definite shape. Liquid, it has definite volume, but it hasn't got a definite shape. In gas, it hasn't got definite shape or it hasn't got definite volume also. Air around us, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor are some examples for gases. So we came to know the characteristic of solid, liquids and gases with a comparison, isn't it? So you can do experiments at home also. You can do experiments at home. So you can go and it's in front of you. There is an assignment coming to you from the book. It says categorize the things in your kitchen as solids, liquids and gases and write them in the table. Good luck to you all. That's all for the session and I'm going to meet you in another session to talk about specific properties of solid matters. Until then, bye-bye and take care of yourself.